beautiful friends uh, welcome back to a new video and welcome back to my channel uh, I hope you all feel good and that you had an awesome time so far uh, and for those who haven't been here before uh, my name is Angelica and I'm a heavy truck operator uh, and on this channel you will see me load and unload different vehicles and machines up and down on my trailer and when I'm cruising around in my truck and a little bit of that uh, so I hope that you will enjoy being here so hi and welcome to all of my new subscribers um, in this video we are going to drive my machine trailer uh, I know that you prefer to call it low boy or low bed or something like that but I'm just going to call it a trailer and I'm going to show you here how it looks like uh, we have a little boring weather today but it looks like it's going to clear up and hopefully it will be a little bit better since we're going to be outside and load and uh, we mostly haul machines on this trailer but we can haul anything and everything uh, like on our other trailer it's containers and sustainers and it's just anything at all that can fit on a truck or not to fit it's even kind of like really really wide cargo and um, but anyways back to today's video uh, we are going to load an excavator and uh, in this video I'm going to show you how we prepare the trailer to get loaded what to think about and uh, how to load it so just sit back relax and enjoy today's video we just got to our loading place and we are going to load this one an excavator and it's a Komatsu 365 hybrid I think and I think it's 40 tons or something like that and uh, it's quite wide as you can tell here Komatsu and um, so the first thing we are going to do uh, we are actually going to make the trailer a little bit wider um, so to be able to make it wider we are going to go here and we are going to take these a few of these and we are going to place them here in the middle of the trailer on some spots here and on top of these things we are going to place some wood that we have here in the back these um, so with those we can make the trailer wider and we can ride this excavator on safely so we're going, just going to start to place these and uh, put the wood on top missing two of those in the front but we're gonna have to make it anyways I believe they come true so do you have all of the widers I call them widers uh, and some wood on top of that <laughs> so now we can see the trailer is a little bit wider uh, but we still can't have all of the weight because this is only like wood so we still have to keep the excavator or the machine in the middle and now we are just going to unattach the truck from the from the trailer
to be able to load the excavator, we're gonna have to move these cables so we don't drive up on them. Uh, I usually just store them here in the middle. So we're just going to move them. I'm going to try to start the excavator up uh, and then I'm going to get to see if someone can help me get it up. Uh, I'm going to drive it, but I need someone to check. So I'm going straight towards the trailer mm, because I'm not very used to drive these. I have never been working with excavators before. Uh, I have been moving a few, but always got help. I'm not sure if I can do it by myself yet, but I'm going to start it up and see if I can move it. Here we are guys inside of the excavator uh, and as you can tell this is a brand new machine uh, you can tell it by it still have the plastic on it and it has this kind of like brand new car smell or brand new vehicle smell in this case and it smells really good uh, also it's very very clean and uh, yeah it's a little bit dusty but I guess that comes with the environment that the excavator is working in but uh, it has to be really nice for the guy who is driving this uh, to get a brand new excavator uh, but the first thing we're going to do to be able to load the excavator up on the trailer um, since I have so short legs we're gonna have to move the seat a little bit forward uh, because the guy before me he obviously have quite long legs compared to me um, so we're just going to take the seat and move it a little bit forward down just a little bit because right now it's on the highest <laughs> and when it's on the highest it goes quite fast when you're moving the excavator and uh, so we're going to turn it down here uh, it's on maximum so we're going to turn it down uh, it's usually a sign of a rabbit and a turtle which means fast and slow uh, but I'm going to have it down on slow uh, because I'm not so used to operate or drive excavators so the slowest is just enough for me uh, we are going to drive towards the trailer, so wish me luck and we're going to take it really slow. Just, yeah. This doesn't make sense at all. You've been by my side all along. Feels like we've been here before. trailer uh, because when we are loading a machine with tracks uh, in this case an excavator it gets a little bit of an angle between the trailer and the ground uh, and when you are loading the machine it gets really rough and it's kind of like going really hard towards the trailer and it's kind of like boom, 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 uh, and you don't really want that and um, so to be able to prevent that uh, we place some wood in front of the trailer and it's a little bit hard to explain but I'm gonna show you uh, but when you have wood in front of the trailer it goes much nicer on when you are loading the excavator or whatever with tracks uh, so we're going to go out place some wood in front of the trailer and get the excavator on as smooth as possible
vision for salvation Can we find our way back, way back Got a new confusion, need a resolution Can we find our way back, way back No more running, no more Well guys, I'm just about to go up on that trailer with the excavator but since I decided to make this a two-part video, uh, sadly this is the end of part one. Uh, but you're gonna have to keep your eye open for my next video. Uh, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video so far. Uh, now you know that we can make the trailer a little bit wider. Uh, and in the next video you will see when I load the excavator up. And uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to drop a comment, it's like if you have any ideas or how you do when you're loading machines or stuff, just drop a comment here. It's always fun to read what you have to say. And just stay tuned for part two. And I hope that I will see you for the next part. And just have an awesome time. Uh, be safe. And I will see you in the next video. Good night.